trigger warning, I'm about to go inappropriate, so keep scrolling if you're a kid. Okay, I gotta tell you a story of when I really realized that my family was white trash kind of growing up. So my grandmother lived in this white farmhouse and had this big tree out front and my aunts and uncles would all sit around. My mom had 10 brothers and sisters. Some of them worked, a lot of them didn't. They were on disability or had been in the Vietnam War, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, uh, almost all were overweight and missing their teeth. And they would sit out on these rickety old lawn chairs under the big tree. And my uncles always had like a Colt 40 in a brown paper bag sitting there with flip flops and cut off jean shorts and, you know, yelling absurdities, absurdities at each other. And my aunts would get so mad because um, they'd all be out there smoking and drinking and cussing up a storm and fighting about shit. And my aunts, overweight, five women overweight with big old tatas, would reach down their shirt without their titty and say to these men and shake it at their brothers and be like, you can suck my titty. Out of the brawl also came their cigarettes and their handkerchief and their coins and change, but that big old titty. Then without hesitations, my uncles would get up and pull their pants down and moon us all and say, well, you can kiss my white ass. Now that I'm thinking about it, this might be the root and core of why I don't have any modesty. <laughs> this is also probably why I developed an anxious attachment style because I never knew what was going to happen. <laughs> like it was like walking on eggshells all the time with these crazy people. And yet I loved them so much and still do so much. Please tell me that you've seen your aunts whip their titty out at somebody. Tell me, please.